Hey guys, welcome to Nerdy Gaming with Rabid Beaver, and today we're going to be doing a gear review. Now, I've got a couple things that are up front. First of all, I got this beautiful headset over the weekend. It's by Picoon, P-I-C-U-N. It's a BG-01, and it has a retractable mic on the inside of it. Now, it's Bluetooth, 100% Bluetooth on it. Bluetooth uh, 5.3. Um, has one volume on the back side here on a rolling scale and then you have a mute for the microphone and a power button on the bottom of it and overall I got the white one with the gray on the inside as you can see uh, but this is an extremely comfortable headset and it connected really easy to everything that I own other than my PlayStation 3 um, well my Xbox, I have to have a transmitter for, or I can connect it to the app in order to use it to ch uh, chat in a party. So that was really easy to do just to connect it to my phone and get up. Uh, but connecting it direct to the Xbox was a little bit harder because you have to have a transmitter in order to do it. Uh, now connecting to my PlayStation 3, whenever they did the 4.90 update, um, even in multi, I can't hear anything. I can't hear the game. I can't hear nothing coming through the PlayStation. So the way I work around it is I still put it in multi. I still turn it on. But I have a Samsung TV that I can broadcast the sound directly from the TV into the headphones. Now, I can't use the microphone uh, that way. But it works extremely well. I can hear everything extremely well. I can hear stuff in, in Call of Duty and all sorts of stuff extremely well so i have to give this you know i'm going to be honest with you i paid six bucks for this headset from timu and i had to wait i had to wait on it to get shipped to me and it took about 11 days to come in 11 business days to come in from timu but i paid six dollars total for this headset and it was selling for 27 or 28 dollars and they were just trying to get rid of it uh, so I have to say for the money and for the price on this thing, it's really good. And this is actually extremely easy to pair. Whenever you turn it on, it's got a little red light or a little blue light here on the bottom that comes through. Um, the red light means that it's charging. The red and blue light means it's trying to pair. It's looking, it's looking to pair. Then the blue light means it's paired. So, and it was super easy to do. You didn't have to hit any buttons. You just turned it on right out of the box, put your device in search. You put whatever device you're trying to connect to your phone or your TV or whatever in search mode and automatically searched and found it. Then you either had to do the Bluetooth passcode, the 0000, or it would automatically connect directly up and you'd be able to use it. And I've been able to use this on everything. I'm able to use it on my MacBook. I'm able to use it on my PlayStation. Now, if I want to talk directly, uh, in in through the PlayStation Network, I can talk through the PlayStation Network, but right? I just can't hear the volume of the the game in the background. But I can definitely have party chat on this thing. So you know, I, I'm I'm you know overall quality. I mean, it feels like it's cheap, but when you put it on, it feels wonderful around your ears. Like this is one of the most comfortable headsets I've had in a long time. And so I mean, if I'm rating it on a scale of ten. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. And the only reason I'm doing that is because, like I said, I had trouble with my Xbox and the website through Timu that I ordered it from, the Pecan people themselves, uh, they said that it would connect directly up with my Xbox going into their, uh, their the Microsoft system, the Microsoft Store system, and that was not true. So they lied to me on that. So it gets nine out of 10 for that. Uh, it does connect through to the Xbox app, and if you have a wireless transmitter for Bluetooth 5.3, it'll connect to the wireless transmitter for 5.3 and work. And as you see, whenever it's on, this little mic is blue. Whenever it's turned off, if you hit the power button and turn it off, boom, where I've got to hold it, and it'll turn off here in just a minute. Power goes off, just like that, and then turn it back on is the same way, and then it wants to connect directly up. But uh, great headset. That's number one. Let's get that one out of the way. The second thing is on Amazon, I just found a generic retailer and I bought a pound for my original Xbox so I could put it in HDMI. And I'm going to tell you, uh, going from those RGB cables to this was like daylight to dark. That and having my TV. I bought a Samsung TV uh, a couple years ago and um, having that TV, that 4K TV with this, really makes daylight to dark on the game itself on the console itself and then whenever i stream i stream through this pound too 
and it goes great into my capture card. It comes out great into my capture card. Um, I do have a little bit of lag sometimes, and that's just from the internet here at the house. But other than that, I have to give this a 10 out of 10. The people at Pound definitely know what they're doing. And they have some, they have one for the GameCube, which will also fit your Nintendo 64 um, if you have that have that option and available. So I would recommend Pound. You know, the Pound company, the company themselves, these things are solid, they're tough, they last. Um, this one did come with a power jack on the side here. And I do have a power jack on the back that it, it plugs into in order to get it to work and work right. Uh, but this is definitely a 10 out of 10, guys. If you guys are looking for something for your Xbox, you're looking for something for your GameCube, Pound is the way to go. And that's my review today, guys. That's what I'm going to give you guys. So if, uh, if uh, you guys are out there looking for stuff, I would recommend both of these things to you. Uh, I'd recommend that Pecan headset, and I'd recommend this Pound directly to you. And like I said, mine's for the original Xbox, but they have other systems on there. That I'm sure they have a Dreamcast, too, now. So uh, definitely check that out and get it. Now, the like I said, I paid $6 for the headset. For this Pound, I paid $20 when it was brand new. Uh, I don't know what they're going for now, and that's been about, you know, about a, a year ago, and I've used this, I just recently pulled my Xbox back out, and it's the first time I've used this since I bought it, and I'm very impressed, I'm highly impressed with this, so, uh, you know, I'm just telling you, you know, I got it for 20 bucks, I don't know what they're going for now, but that's definitely a steal on this thing, I would highly recommend it. Like I said, guys, thank you so much for coming in and being here. And that's my gear review for the day. And if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that follow and hit that subscribe bell so you can get more of this content whenever it comes up and whenever I make it for you. Thank you guys so much for being here with Nerdy Gaming at a Rabid Beaver. I'm your host, a Rabid Beaver, and I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.